G'day guys, Ronnie Dale, Four Wheeling Australia. It is that time now to finally do a review on this fridge. It's been three years. I apologise. I kept saying I was going to do it. Yeah, I'm going to do it soon, going to do it soon. Since the drawer fridge, which was in a while ago, I mentioned I was going to review this fridge. But here we are. We're going to do it right now. First things first, let's describe the fridge. This is a combi fridge. So it has fridge and freezer in at the same time. So you can get one that's exactly the same size as just the fridge. But we'll get into the technical details now so you know exactly what we're talking about. Uh, model MT45. So don't be fooled by the 45. The 45 is, is the space that it takes up. But the actual capacity of the fridge is 40 litres. So 40 litres of fridge space. Now when you use it as a fridge freezer combo, you, use, you lose one litre. And you lose that one litre with the divider. So you have, at the moment, it's set up for 13 litres freezer. So it has some moonshine and some bread. That's the best way to carry bread in a bush, by the way, is to freeze it. It doesn't get squashed either. And then we have 27 litres of fridge. So that equates to 40. So maybe it's just half a litre you, you lose from this. But Look, you don't get the true 40 when you have a divider in it. That's, that's my point. Now you can shift this divider. So we can in fact, get that down there. We can in fact now go, so we'll spin the basket off because it has a cutout for the back. We can now go a 27 litre freezer and a 13 litre fridge. So usually when I travel with one fridge, then I'll do this old chestnut here. We will go 30, 13 litres freezer, 27 litres fridge. That's me sorted out. I just came back from the bite, uh, the Australian bite from Israelite Bay to Twilight Cove. That was eight days, seven nights. Myself and my daughter used 40 litre fridge only, fridge freezer, and that was enough for us. So as far as a single fridge goes on its own, you can do with this for like an, like an eight day adventure. A lot of people go for the 50 or the 60, but really when it comes down to it, at the end of the day, all you need to do is when you drink, your drinks that are in there, you replace them as you go, and then you only need to take up just as much space with the fridge. One thing that has puzzled me when it comes to this particular fridge, now I've used other fridges other than the ones I mentioned earlier. I've, you know, I've driven other trailers, so I've used Wacos, I've used Evercools, I've used ARB fridges, and look, some of those fridges, not all of them, but some of them struggle to get the temperature setting right. So some of them, you set it to minus two. When it comes to winter, you have to change it because it starts freezing stuff. And I find that some fridges will freeze stuff at one end where the elements are and at the other end, it's, it's too warm. The funny thing is, I don't know how, this is what puzzles me, I don't know how these guys have done it, Engel, because you can run this freezer at negative 10, negative 8 to negative 18 and yet this in here will not freeze. The only time it will freeze if something leaks inside and then the ice flows through. Then things will start freezing on this side. But I've, I run this thing on negative 18 most of the time. Everything's frozen in here. Everything is not frozen in here. It's damn cold but it's not frozen. And that's something that puzzles me. How have they managed to do that? just with this divider. So it's pretty impressive really. Three years now, three years, and it's been outside for half that time. For a year and a half, it's probably been sitting outside the, the back of, of the tray. It's held up pretty good. Now, I wouldn't recommend you leave it outside any fridge at all, outside exposed to the elements, but this one's done fine. As you can see, it's worn in a bit, taking a bit of a battering from bushes and whatnot but it's still holding up really well. It's the lowest drawing fridge on the market that you can actually get. And it's not so much of what it draws at any time, it's how long it runs for. So usually the one that's in the trailer will only run very briefly. This is sitting out in the full sun, so it will run a bit more than what your fridge would normally do if this was on the back seat or whatever. Noise factor, look, many fridges are noisy. This is definitely not one of the quietest, but it's not the noisiest either. But when you consider noise, how, it depends on how long it runs for. Now this doesn't run as long as, as for example, uh, the Waco used to have in, in the um, X2, which is behind the camera. I swapped that out for a 40 litre angle and my battery power 
has saved so much more. So not only will it save your battery power, also when you're sleeping in a rooftop tent above this thing, it won't be humming all night. And if you're really worried about the humming, it's because it's set to negative 18. So if I, if I turn it up, that's what I'll usually do at night. If I go to bed, I'll turn the fridge just up a bit to minus 15, minus 12, whatever that next setting is. And then it won't run all night pretty much, as long as no one opens it up. But if you leave it on negative 18, that's the maximum freezing point it can go to. It will run a little bit more than what it would if you just turn it up a bit. But you'll find most of the fridges, they'll just keep running. This is a funny point. The casing being metal, you may be familiar with Wayne. Wayne de Villers, who uh, frequently travels with us. So he's got angle fridges as well. He had a wiring issue. He couldn't work out why every time he pulled his angle out, it stopped running, but every time he put it, put it back in, it was running. He then wired his earth wire up to it properly. He had a dodgy earth. The fridge earthed through his canopy because the back of this, the handle touched the canopy. So that was running, still running the fridge. So even if you have a dodgy earth, this, <laughs> this thing will still find power if it's touching metal. One other thing we can talk about is it's simple technology. They haven't changed this swing motor for who knows how long. It's reliable. It's a bit like a 70 series. It doesn't have all the fancy tech on it. It doesn't have USB charging ports. It doesn't have a Wi-Fi or Bluetooth connection so you can see the temperature of the fridge. I mean, just get out of the car and have a look. Who needs all that stuff? So I think that's why it's simple and reliable. It's always room for improvement. One thing that I dislike about the angle a little bit is, well, are these brackets. They're kind of ugly. It's such a nice looking metal fridge. They've gone to all this detail to make everything look nice, but these brackets, to tie it down with. They're a bit agricultural. Apart from that, the other con I guess would be, it's a con that all fridges have. It's a different shape. Now you have fridges that are low and wide, fridges that are tall and high. Most angles are tall and high. So in some setups, they may work really well in your favor and in other circumstances, maybe not. We are reviewing the combi. We're not reviewing the normal 40 liter. So in terms of the space that I have and the usability, see because it has a divider, I've already shown you I can pull the baskets out. That is the best way to deal with your stuff in a fridge. Otherwise, you're gonna be digging through it, which you are anyway, but at least here, you can see what's in there. It's easy to get to, it's easy to clean. I've had fish in this fridge go off and I've filled it up with water, bicarb soda and lemons, left it in there for a day, drained it all, right as rain, it's, it's good again. The reason why I chose to go for an angle was because of my brother-in-law and of course Malcolm Douglas, seeing him use the angle as well and seeing how long they actually go for. So that's why I went for this fridge. And my brother-in-law swears by his and he got his from his grandfather and that is still, what is it, 32 years old or something like that. In conclusion comes to, would I recommend this fridge to anyone? Well, if it's good enough for Malcolm Douglas, it's good enough for you. That's all I've got to say. Thanks for watching. Comment down below if you got one of these. And if you have one that's more than 20 years old, comment down below. I want to hear from you.